Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be using the Subculture Palette by Anastasia. At first, I was going to do a more brown look, but I ended up going with the color Alexis as the main color on the eyelid, and this is the look that I came up with. But I'm also going to be showing you like the rest of my face makeup and all of that, so if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, then keep watching. I did already apply my concealer as my primer, which is a Tarte Shape Tape. I have it in the color Light Sand. And I don't know if I mentioned this before in another video, I think I did, but my nails are purple, just so you know. Um, for some reason they got stained, look at the way that they look. I don't know how that happened, like one day, from one day to another they were like this, I'm not sure if it was like my hand towel, which I've been using it for so long and that never happened. Um, but I don't know, has that ever happened to you? Let me know. Okay, so the color that I'm going to use to set the primer is Dawn. I'm not gonna bring it up any higher I'll just use a different shade for like the brow bone area today I just want the brow bone to be a little brighter transition shade that I'm gonna use is destiny it's like the lightest green in the palette and I'm gonna apply this one right here on the outer V of the eye I'm not gonna go too too high like not all the way up I'm just gonna go like this little circles it's like the easiest way for me now I'm gonna work my way around and I just want to do like little bitty circles because if I start like trying to do like big swipes or swoops, I don't know what you want to call them, um, I will get it all over my eyelid and I don't have that much lid space. As I get into the inner part, I don't mind getting it on my eyelid area because I'm just going to apply a dark brown color there so it's it'll be fine. Um, I just don't want to get the green too high, but I do want it to be all the way around. Now without adding any more product, I'm just going to go on the edge just like this, just to make sure that the edge is blended out. See when I look up, you can still see it right there, so that's what I like. At least for this look, that's what I like. So if you have hooded eyes too, that's a good tip, like try to keep it below so that way you don't get too high. Because then I'll, I can easily get this shade like really close to my eyebrow and then it looks muddy. I think I said earlier I was going to use the brown, but I changed my mind. I'm actually going to use Axis all over the eyelid color. And I'll apply that on the eyelid. I'm slowly moving my way outwards. I'm going to put one more coat of that or one more layer of that. Just to make sure that it's really, really packed on there. And then with the clean, like pointy blending brush, I'm gonna go right here on the edges where the two colors meet and just slowly just blend those out. They're pretty blended already. You can't see a line in between them. And I'm gonna take, with the same brush, I'm gonna take the color Destiny again, which is the same shade that I have all the way around, and I'm gonna pack it in the crease area. I'm gonna take the blending brush that I was using earlier I'll just blend out the edges right here. I don't want to go too far out either for this look. I want to keep it like really round right on my eyelid. I'm going to take Destiny again and apply it very carefully like close to the inner part because I need to get that part but I don't want to get it too much over here so I don't want to get it on my inner corner. Like you can't even see my arms but look <laughs> this is the way that I have my arms. There we go, because then I'll have like that blank space right in the corner. This fallout girl. I'm gonna take my clean fluffy brush that I used at the beginning. Oh my, I got the fallout on my forehead now. I just blend out the edges up here. Remove the fallout. For eyeliner, I am gonna use my Tardist eyeliner and first I'm gonna do my waterline. So I want to do my lash line next, um, but I want to apply this first. And then for the eyeliner, I'm thinking either I do just like a small wing, I'll see right now, or I don't do a wing at all and just go across the water, across the eyelid. I'll go across the eyelid first, and then I'm gonna see how that looks. And then if I feel like I want the little wing, I'll probably just do like a very, very small one. And I'm gonna use the other side of the pencil, which is the liquid eyeliner. I'm just gonna do it slowly. I don't want it to be too thick. For eyelashes, I'm applying these by Kiss. 
They're number 11. And they're just some very natural looking eyelashes. I'm gonna go over the eyelash strip just a little bit in case there's any glue showing or anything. And I did decide on not doing the wing. Now I'm gonna do the lower lash line and I'm basically gonna use the same colors. Uh, first, I'm using the color Dawn with this little brush. And I'm gonna take Density, Density, Destiny again. I'm just gonna barely tap it like that and get that really close to my eyelashes too. And then blending it towards the bottom very slowly. And all I'm gonna do is just push a little bit of eyeshadow in there so it doesn't leave like a white gap in between. With the flat shader brush, I'm gonna take the color Axis and barely tap it too because this one's really, really powdery and it'll give you a lot of fallout. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get fallout on my under eyes anyway. Get it really close to the eyeliner and just push it in there like this. Once I get on the inner part, I just Go back and forth so I can like fade into the lighter <clears throat> so I can fade into the lighter color okay now I'm gonna clean out clean out clean up the fallout I'm gonna do the inner corner and the brow bone last uh, right now I'm gonna do the color correcting and I'm gonna use the erase paste by benefit which is in the color number two medium I'll apply it with my brush I'm not gonna get too too high to where I have the eyeshadow look at the difference it makes and I'm gonna blend it out with the beauty blender. Very slowly though, because I've done it before to where I put it on the eyeshadow. Big difference to me. Okay, so before doing the highlighting concealer, I'm gonna apply foundation, which is the new foundation by Rihanna, and this one is in the color 210. Next, I am gonna apply my concealer, and this one is the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm not gonna go too low with it though, because I don't wanna cover up like the foundation. Um, I just want to clean up the eyeshadow and just brighten my under eye area right here. Again, very carefully that I don't cover up the eyeshadow. I'm going to set the concealer with my Lorac Contour Kit. And I think I'm going to mix both of these shades, the light shades. I'm going to use a pointy brush because I don't want to put anything on the foundation and like I said I'm not gonna set the foundation um, but by the time you see this video the Fenty Beauty foundation video will already be up so I will have it listed below and the two products that I'm gonna be showing is the foundation and also the highlighter this one is in the color kilowatt and it has mean money and hustler baby uh, highlights in it one's a lot less shimmery than another but I just want to let you know that there's gonna be a full video on the foundation on how it wears and all of that um, separately okay so to finish off the eye look I'm trying not to get more of that um, color axis on me I am gonna use the color cube on the inner corner and I don't know yet if I want to put it on the brow bone I think I will yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that but first I'm gonna apply it on the inner corner oh wait I forgot that that one has like a pink undertone never mind I'm gonna apply electric which is the green one maybe I should clean my brush okay now I'm gonna pick up electric there we go that's much better cute cute should I put some on the brow bone would you put some on the brow bone no I am gonna apply the highlighter on the brow bone the, the fancy beauty highlighter on the brow bone so I'm just gonna leave that like that Okay, since I'm not going to set the foundation, I'm going to use a cream blush. This one's by Pixie and it is called Baby Petal. And I'm just going to use a stipple brush. This one is by e.l.f. I'm just going to use this to apply it. I don't want anything too pink because the eyes are green. I just want a little hint of blush, not too much. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender. Where's the cap? I need the cap. Um, I'm going to take the beauty blender and just do this a little bit on top of the blush. And then for contouring, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I don't want to apply a powder contour, so I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And I'm going to use the lightest color in here for contouring. If you're interested in this palette, I do have a full video on it too. 
I show you how I use it on top of foundation and how I use it underneath foundation. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush. Ooh, yeah. Yes, this one looks nice. For lipstick, I'm gonna use a Tarte lip paint and I have a small little uh, lipstick of it. I got it for my birthday, this is not it. I got it as the birthday gift from Sephora and they give you a and they give you a nude blush too in the name Party and then this one is called Birthday Suit. So it is the Tarte Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. And it is like the perfect nude for me. So if your birthday is in September, then this is this is part of the birthday gift. And I forgot one last thing. I wanted to apply the highlighter on the brow bone area. And I'm just going to clean my brush first because it has the green eyeshadow on it. What I use for cleaning my brushes is this IT Cosmetics brush cleaner. And I spray it. Look, it has the product on there. I just want to show you. I mean, if you are looking for a brush, brush cleaner. And then I sprayed it and it does like start absorbing the product. I start just turning it like this on the napkin. It takes it off. So there. It's a very good brush cleaner. I like it. I like it because it dries instantly. I don't have to like wash my brushes with water, wait for them to dry. So I'm just going to use this one right here on this side. Which is the same one that I used over here like on my cheeks and everything. And I'm going to apply this on the brow bone. This is not the cutest highlighter. I don't know which one is. So this is the complete makeup look. Looks really nice. I love the colors from the Subculture palette. That Alexis shade is a really nice shade for the eyes. I mean... It does have a lot of fallout, so I would for sure tell you to apply your eyeshadow first. I think with any colors on this palette, apply your eyeshadow first and then do the rest of your makeup. Because imagine, I would have had that everywhere. Hopefully you liked the way that it turned out. I, I really did. I loved it. I hadn't done an eye look like this ever. So it was my first time doing like very, very dark green. And then I like the way that the rest of the makeup looks. I also like the nude lipstick just because it goes good with all of the looks that I've been doing. I mean, it goes good with everything. Um, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and I will see you all in my next one. Bye